good. Uh, then let's see. Let's do. Any, are there any children here? Any at all? Okay, fine. We do burn stuff then. Here's an NSF case on for you. <laughs> this is a true story, by the way. I was browsing in a bookstore back in 1998. Over in the fantasy section, I saw some people waiting in a line to get an autograph from a guy who wrote some books. Then I noticed some of those people were giving that author dirty looks because apparently he was working on a series they were writing, and it was taking a while to finish until one fan gave this greeting get back to work George go home and write a little more you better follow through before you do a sign at the store Mr. Martin we got some money here to spend so please don't leave us wondering how will the story end so a few years later, I think it was 2005, I was staying at a hotel and I saw some folks arriving in costume for some sort of fantasy convention. And the guest of honor was the same offer I previously mentioned. And every fan who saw the man with power to his cap, then one fan stopped and rudely dropped the laptop in his lap and said, Get yeah, back to work, George. <laughs> no, it's just not fair. For we all need to know who's gonna own that big metal chair, Mr. Martin. You're riding way too slow, won't you tell me, sir, is it Lannister or maybe Johnny Snow? <laughs> so, a few years later on my cable TV, I saw a show about a great big dysfunctional family <laughs> with a lady who thinks she probably shouldn't with her brother, and a colossal cast of characters all killing each other, it was awesome. But after the first five seasons, the story hit a snag, and you get one guess what's the reason. Get back to work, George, you still got two more books to go, and unless you want to see them first on HBO, Mr. Martin, you better get it in Yale, because those cable TV people do a season every year. Back to work, George, you got pages yet to fill, a lot of bother to untangle, and some characters to kill, Mr. Martin, you better to think about your age, cause it can't happen anywhere, so you put it on the page. Back to work, George!